Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you guys remember towards the beginning of December, I did put out a community post that announced that we are doing a Manga 2 Secret Santa between myself and a bunch of other Manga tubers. There's 14 of us participating, so it's gonna be a lot of fun to see everyone's videos and see just what everyone decides to buy for each other. This is being organized by your bald-headed senpai, Gemini Manga, and Book5, so a big shout out to them for making this happen. Uh, Gemini Manga did put out a survey for everyone to fill out and just to give some information about yourself and uh, to make it easier for the person that you're gonna uh, buy for. So today I have my secret Santa. I will be buying something for Queen D. Uh, she is an awesome manga tuber. If you guys haven't subscribed to her, definitely go subscribe as well as to everyone else that's being part of the uh, secret Santa. If you guys haven't already subscribed, check out that community post. All of the links to all of everyone's channels is on there. I'll also leave a link to everyone's channel down on this video description. So make sure to check them out if you guys want to see everyone's videos. But but today is December 4th, so pretty early on in December. And I'm going to split this video up into uh, different sections. So this first part is just going to be me going and doing some research, figuring out what Queen D likes and uh, going on right stuff and purchasing her items. Uh, I am a little bit late because we were supposed to send these things out by the end of this week and, and I haven't even done my research or anything because I wanted to do it in front of the camera and I finally have some time today. So all of my shopping will be online and I will be shipping it directly to her. So unfortunately I won't be doing any sort of like personalized packaging or anything like that, uh, which does kind of suck. I would have liked to do that, but I, at this point, I just don't have the time, but right stuff has some amazing deals. So I'm sure I'll find some great stuff on sale for her on there. So yeah, as I mentioned, I have Queen D. So now let's go into my computer and let's do some research. All right, so here is the survey that she filled out. So her YouTube name is Queen D, we already know that. I removed her address because I don't want any of you guys seeing her, her personal information. Uh, so she doesn't want any shonen titles, okay. Uh, no out of print series. So which makes sense because it will be hard for her to complete them um, and nor no super gory titles, okay. Uh, her favorite anime and manga is My Hero Academia, The Ancient Magus Bride, Demon Prince of Momochi House. I haven't heard about that one. I have seen, of course, My Hero Academia, but I've heard of The Ancient Magus Bride, but I haven't read the manga or watched the anime for that. Um, but let's continue. Her favorite restaurant is Dallas Barbecue. Ooh, she's from Dallas. So she's close by. Oh wait, fault alarm. I guess there's a Dallas Barbecue in New York because she's actually from New York. Uh, so she likes Dallas Barbecue, Red Lobster, and Panda Express. Ooh, I love Panda Express as well. Their coconut shrimp, delicious. Uh, so she has quite a few pets. She has the Persian cat, a Maltese dog, and a parrot. Since I'm gonna be buying most things from everything from Right Stuff, I don't know if they sell anything for pets, so um, sorry, but I might not get anything for your pets. Uh, music, she likes hip hop, pop, R&B, lo-fi beats. Love lo-fi, I use them in all of my videos. Uh, snacks, red velvet, anything. Okay, my wife loves red velvet as well. Uh, butter cookies, iced oatmeal cookies. Uh, she does need Junji Ito titles, which is interesting because she said no super gory titles. So she's kind of contradicting herself here because I'm pretty sure Junji Ito is pretty gory. Uh, so she's, she's a shoujo girl. Uh, you can definitely tell from her videos on YouTube. And she would like also some BL manga. Hmm. Okay. I just thought about something, but I don't think I'll get her that. I was thinking about that Dick Fight Island manga, but maybe that's not a great, great gift to give during this uh, Secret Santa. Uh, so her favorite characters are Izuku, oh, Midoriya, I think, from My Hero Academia, Elias, and Asta. Asta is from Black Clover, I think, and I'm not sure what Elias is from. Uh, so accessories, she would like some earrings, necklaces, or a mirror. Her favorite color is blue, and then just some extra info, so. All right, 
I think I have sort of an idea of what I can get her, but before we get started and start searching, let's check out her current manga collection. Uh, let's see her YouTube channel and let's check out if she actually does have one of those videos on her channel. And again, I was saving all of my research for this video, so I haven't checked out her her manga collection, if, if she even has a video for her manga collection. So let's check it out. Okay, search, manga collection. All right, so My Hero Manga Collection. Seems like she has all of that. Don't need to get her any of that. But does she have the spin-off series, The uh, Vigilantes? Let's, let's check it out. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over my My Hero Academia collection. Okay, so yeah, I do see some My Hero Academia Vigilantes on there. Uh, she pretty much has everything. She has the Smash, the My Hero, I think that's School Days, and then all of the volumes of the main series. So yeah, she has all of it. Let's see her figures. So she has Midoriya. I actually might have a Funko Pop that I can give her. Um, I'll have to send that out to her, but I might do that. Uh, let's continue here. I think that's enough for her My Hero. I haven't, I, I'm pretty sure she has everything. All right, so unfortunately, I don't see a manga collection video. Hmm. Best places to buy manga. So let's see if she has a reorganization video. Okay. Organize. Okay, none of that. Let's try a room tour. Man, this is gonna be harder than I thought. I don't know what she has in her collection. All right, let's just go to all of her videos. Maybe she has something recently. Uh, sneak peek of November manga haul. She has her TBR stacks. Your answer can't be books tag. Well, it looks like she shows some of her collection on here. Maybe this one here too, among the collecting tips. And of course the manga tube tag. So she did this recently. So I'm gonna take a look at these three videos uh, just to get some information from her. And then we might go shopping after this. Um, so I'll take you guys with me. So let's take a look at some of these videos. Won't show you guys the whole video, maybe just some highlights or something. Just for the sake of time, I might, I might skip a bit here. I actually haven't done this, so I might do that this month. This is a pretty interesting video. Or er, tag video. Plushies? Okay. <laughs> so she likes plushies. I can definitely see that. More plushies? Although surprisingly not much anime plushies, so that might be something I can get her. Oh, so she's a Pokemon card collector. That's awesome. Oh well. <laughs> this is awesome. I wish I would have kept all of my Pokemon cards. Uh, well, I'll answer your question here, but my favorite Pokemon is probably Cyndaquil. Uh, that was my favorite generation of Pokemons, and Cyndaquil is so cute, and just that whole evolution line, 
I think is, is I don't know, the perfect starters from any Pokemon game. So yeah, I really like Cyndaquil. And uh, apart from that, from Gen 1, I really like Gengar. I don't know why, I just love his personality. I love that he's purple and he's just honestly a pretty cute ghost. I don't know, I just always liked Gengar. Uh, he can be cute at times, but, but he can also be very scary. So yeah, I've always loved Gengar as well. Oh, what was that about books? Oh, oh I've never read any of the Pokemon books. I have the manga, so I'll be reading that soon. All right, so here we can see some of the manga. True. Well, I mean, you might get some some bookmarks. I got some bookmarks from the bookstore. Okay, so yeah, here is some really good views of her manga collection. So let's let's take a quick pause here. Ooh, Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka. Nice. Uh, Black Torch, Chainsaw Man. I'm loving Chainsaw Man right now. We got some Magical Girl over here, so you probably need some reorganization here. You should really do a reorganization video there. Pretty popular. Okay, what do we got up here? My Hero, Kindred Spirits, Dragon Maid. I can't see what these are. And then down here, we got some High Rise Invasion and the Centaur's Life are the only two I um, recognize and a few Junji Ito. So she probably has all of the main Junji Ito books, but she did specify she wanted some of that. So I might grab a few of those. This is actually pretty fun so far. I'm having fun making this video. All right, nice video. So let me leave a like and let's go to the next video. All right, collection, collecting tips. Guilty, as you guys can see, probably 20% red collection here. That's a good suggestion. Um, one short series that I would recommend is Happiness, one of my favorite manga right there, you guys. Should definitely check that out if you have it, if you guys haven't or anything from Shuzo Oshimi really there usually his series are pretty short um, and really good so happiness or flowers of evil all right so she doesn't show much of her collection on here so uh, this is a good video I'll, I'll probably finish it later but for the sake of the video that I'm recording I'm probably going to skip over to that third video that I was going to review, which was the manga tube tag. All right, let's learn a little bit more about Queen D. My name is Dom. I'm not going to say my full name. I don't want to. But you guys call me Destiny or Dom. I'm going to call me Destiny or Dom. Either one is fine. I'm 21 Destiny. years old. Destiny. I like that. I am a fourth year college student. I really love manga. <laughs> Starting with question two is when did you start reading manga? And honestly, I started reading manga when I was about 12 years old. Mm, much school. earlier than me. Wow.
Man, she's hyping me up for My Hero Academia. Wait, she just said I suck? What did, What was that? I, I missed it. Oh, fandom. Okay. Yeah, I usually like to read or watch it before I make any type of decision. I feel you there. I also don't like having like a TBR list. I usually just come look at my shelf and whatever I feel like reading, I pull it out and I take it slow. I just focus on that series and I try to try to read it. Um, so yeah, I understand you on that one. All right, so I've watched those three videos. I have a bit of an idea of what she likes, what she doesn't like, uh, what she has, but um, off screen, I am gonna watch a little bit more of her hauls just so I can have a good idea of what she does have in her collection. So uh, I'll stop it here, the recording for now, but when I see you guys again, I will be on right stuff trying to shop for her. All right, so we're on right stuff now. Um, I have an idea of what's in her collection. So to start off, let's just check out My Hero Academia. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned it, but the, the limit for this is $25, which honestly is not too much. Um, so I might go a little bit over that. I might double it and do maybe $50, but let's see what they have here for My Hero Academia. Oh, they got some plushies, which I know she likes her plushies. Uh, she did say her favorite character was Midoriya, if I remember correctly. God, I love this cover. She has all of those already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she has all of the manga, so let's filter out two. Doesn't want, I don't think she's interested in Blu rays. I would love to give her some Blu rays, but, but I don't know that she would even have a Blu ray player, so maybe not, not a good idea to give her that. Uh, let's see some figures and some jewelry. Okay. And specialty books. Oh, did she get that, that new character book? I didn't see that in her collection. I might get her that. Uh, but anyways, let's see what they got here. All right, so a pop up parade. This is a pre order, so I'm, I'm only looking for in stock stuff. So I want this to get to her soon. So let's filter to in stock. All right, so this is what I didn't see. So I'm going to add this to the card in hopes that she hasn't picked it up. All right, they also, oh crap. No, I thought it was about gonna be the same price as this one. So let's keep going. Okay, this price is not bad. I'll go ahead and add that. She likes Midoriya, so I'll get her a prize figure of him. What are we at there? Whoops, got quite a few things in the cart. Let me go empty this out. All right, so already with these two items, we're at $41, so that was quick. Um, but I do want to get her a little bit of something else. Um, so let's see, let's see what's on today's mega deal. How heavy are the dumbbells you look? These are all Blu-rays. I don't think she's interested in Blu-rays. Um, all right, I'm actually a little worried that she might end up getting this for November. She didn't have a November haul. Um, so I don't know, maybe I should wait a few days just to see if she posts it. Uh, this one was released in November. Um, let's see. So yeah, I might, whatever I put in the cart today, I'm gonna wait a few days to see if she releases her, her um, manga haul. And if it's not out by, let's say Monday, then I might just 
sh uh, shift these things out to her or buy it for, buy these things on on the seventh. Um, but another thing too is that um, this figure is getting us to fifty dollars pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I don't think I'd rather get her some more manga. So let's remove this. And let's go into the holiday sale. All right, so going back to her list, she did say she wanted some Junji Ito titles. So let's go check out Junji Ito. I saw Dissolving Classroom in her collection. So let's filter to manga. I saw Uzumaki. So, Dio, did I see Tomoe? 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 Uh, let's double check. All right, so I see Uzumaki and Gio, but I don't see Tomie. But that one is 24 bucks. Oh, this is another one that I've heard. I think I've seen, heard good things about this one, Venus on the Blind Spot. It is a little bit more affordable, so we can add more things to cart. So let's go ahead and add this one. All right, now we are at 28. So what else is on her list? Junji Ito, Shoujo, BL, characters. I don't know, I honestly don't know too much about BL, so I can't really help you there. Uh, shoujo, medium size. Let's see if there's any My Hero Academia shirts. I haven't seen too much like clothing on right stuff, so I doubt it. Clothing, okay. Ah, they only have a face mask. Lame. Let's see, Flowers of Evil. Only one is out of stock. All right, let's check happiness. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. And volume one is in stock. All right, so I'm gonna add volume one just because one of my favorite series. So I did want to add uh, something in there that I would recommend you read. Uh, it is a little bit gory, but not too much. Not like super gory like you mentioned. Um, so I think you will enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's a short series. Like you said, you like short series. Most of it is in stock. It looks like only volume six is out of stock, but I'm sure you should be able to find it later. But check out volume one and let me know how you like it. That brings us at 37. What else should I add here? Let's add volume two as well. And that's bringing us to 46. All right, a few more things. Let me go back to your list. Hmm. Let's see what the cart looks like here. All right, so with shipping, we are at $54.06. So I think this is a good selection. It's four volumes of manga. Uh, we got some Junji Ito, the Micro Academia official character guide, and then two volumes of Happiness. I uh, hope you enjoy that series. One of my favorites, so I think you will enjoy it as well. And let me go get one more thing. All right, so here's an acrylic stand that I got on one of my Blu-ray limited editions. Uh, it seems like you're a mega My Hero Academia fan, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to you as well. And we also have some sort of like villain cards, some My Hero Academia cards. Um, I will also be sending these to you. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're kind of holographic if you guys want to take a look at that. And then in the back, it does give you some stats for that character. So hopefully you'll enjoy these cards. We'll send this separately as well as this manga that I'm shipping to you. So, all right. Hope you enjoy my gifts, uh, Queen D. Um, this was a really fun video to do. So 
can't wait to see your reaction. And you guys, if you guys want to see her reaction to the stuff that I got her, make sure to check out her channel and subscribe. A link to her channel will be down below. Um, but all right, I think that's it for this portion of the video. Uh, next time you guys see me, I will be unboxing the package that gets sent to me. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Well, a bit for you. It's going to be a few weeks for me. Hey guys, so I forgot to film the portion of me putting all of the items inside of the box, uh, but I did end up uh, finding a few other goodies that I wanted to send uh, Queen D. So if you guys want to check out what I got her, make sure to go watch her video. But I didn't want to miss out on a chance of actually wrapping a package with some Christmas wrapping paper. So I wanted to send her a good amount of things, and I think the things that I found her were uh, pretty good for her. I think she will enjoy them. These things did come from my personal collection, so they're not brand new. I hope that's okay. I mean, I've already sent her some new manga, so I think it's fine, but uh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for her to post her video. She did mention to me already that she received the items, she loved them, and now she's just waiting to post her video. So once that's up, I'm going to go check it out and I'll make sure to put it on a community post as well so you guys can see it as well. But yep, I did write her a card as well. Uh, not the best at writing cards, so I did my best, but I just put read me there on the top and I taped it to the top of the package and that was pretty much it. Um, I did end up putting a box within a box here just because I didn't want the Christmas wrapping paper to get damaged and that was it. So yeah, you guys got to see a bit of my wrapping skills. Now on to the last part of this video, which is me opening up my secret Santa gift. So can't wait for that. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now December 19th for me. Uh, just a few moments for you, but I just got in my package today. I hope you guys like this festive theme here. I decided to put my Susanos up uh, for another video that I was collaborating on, but I figured it would be fitting for this video as well. So let's go ahead and get inside of this box. My secret Santa was Book Vibes, which is awesome. I love her channel. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely check her out. I'll leave a link down to her channel below. Again, as I mentioned, as well as everybody else that participated in this Secret Santa. So let's open this up and see what she got me. Oh, wait, crap. I wanted to do one thing before I open this up. So let's see if I can guess what she got me based off of my answers that I provided on the survey that Gemini Manga sent to us. So let's do that first. Put this to the side and bring my laptop. All right, so unfortunately, I don't have my form. Uh, Gemini Manga forgot to send it to me. Um, I asked him to send it uh, right now, but uh, it's gonna probably take him a while because it's about three in the morning and uh, he's probably sleeping. So I'm just gonna go off of Queen D's form and I'll try to remember what I answered. But from what I remember, um, I left my answers pretty vague. I feel like I didn't really help out my secret Santa uh, choose something for me. I just kind of answered them based off of the question. So for example uh, Things that I don't want. I am pretty sure I answered no Yuri manga uh, It wasn't a fan of Yuri this year. I dropped all of Yuri this year. So uh, That might have been the only thing I listed on there, but I can't remember at the moment Maybe, maybe I also said no horror manga because I'm not a huge fan of horror manga. Favorite anime manga Oh, that's that's easy. I probably said I probably said Hunter Hunter, um, Attack on Titan, and Happiness for manga. Uh, favorite restaurants? Anything really. I'm not too picky when it comes to eating out. Uh, pets? I do currently have one cat. Uh, as same like uh, Queen Bee. She, she also had a Persian cat. I just noticed. Uh, music. Uh, lately, I've been listening to a lot of anime music and movie scores. That's mainly what I listen to. I'm pretty sure that's what I put down for that. Uh, snacks, probably put hot Cheeto puffs. Um, that's one of my favorite snacks. I don't know why I just really like hot Cheeto puffs. Uh, and things that I do need, here's where I probably forgot what I put down. I think I put stuff like that's super hard to get, like, like Triage X Volume 4. I've been looking for that forever. Can't find it anywhere. 
Uh, so I put that there and I'm pretty sure she won't be able to find that. I also put stuff down like um, Eye Shield 21, which a lot of those volumes are also out of stock most of the time. So I'm really sorry, uh, Book Vibes. I know I probably made it hard for you when it comes to the stuff that I do need. I kind of, like I said, I just answered it based off of the questionnaire. Things that I do need, those are the things that I needed. Uh, so I didn't think about the person actually going to purchase things for me. I probably should have put stuff that was more easy to find. So sorry. Uh, characters, uh, prob I probably put Groyo from Hunter x Hunter, uh, Hisoka, and what other characters? I, I think I put three down, but I can't remember what I put down for the third character. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, can't remember. Um, accessories, I probably left that blank, to be honest. Uh, favorite color, black and blue. And extra info for shirt size, I did put large and I put down my phone and that was pretty much it. So based off of that, I'm guessing she got me something Hunter x Hunter themed. Um, it could be the manga because I am missing all of volumes all of the first couple of volumes which if she did get me that that would be super awesome because i've been thinking of picking up all of the volumes for hunter hunter talking about hunter hunter uh one of my friends and my wife which the shirt underneath is a is a guan shirt uh, she got me this awesome shirt and then a friend got me this awesome hoodie so these are both gifts that i'm wearing for this video so if she got me some more uh hunter hunter drip I'd be thankful for that as well. Maybe she got me some Hot Cheeto Puffs or some CDs for some anime soundtracks. Uh, those, that's about everything that I can think of that she would get me uh, based off of the answers that I provided to this uh, questionnaire. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if she got me any of those things. Uh, maybe she, she watched some of my videos and just got me something completely unrelated to what I answered on this questionnaire. So let's go ahead and find out together. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, so off the bat, it is pretty light, but it does feel, it does have a little bit of weight. So maybe there is possibility for some manga in here. So let's open this up. It's really tight in here. I keep bumping into these statues, which is probably not the best idea considering these things are pretty expensive. Uh, but just got to be careful. All right, so we got a box within a box, some boxception going on here. Packaged really nicely. She did use some bubble wrap around the uh, wrapped box, which I probably should have done. I don't think I put any bubble wrap around the box, within the box, but I think. Ooh, I love the card chip here. Pretty nice. Alright, so we have a card. Really nice card too. So let's read this. Elite Collector, hope you and your family enjoy your holiday together. Uh, so hope you enjoy your gifts, keep up the awesome content, and know I am inspired by your beautiful collection. Best wishes in 2022. Aw, thanks Book Vibes. Best wishes for you guys as well. So, didn't give me any clues as to what could be in here, but it's a really nice, nice, uh, nice card. I do like that. So I'm gonna, gonna put that somewhere in my collection, like next to some manga or something. Maybe next to some of the stuff that she gets me in here. Uh, so, it came in a little bit ripped, but I usually don't like ripping up presents like this, but what the heck, since it's already ripped, let's just go ahead and... All right, that's out of the way. More tape. And... More stuff wrapped up. Wow, she did a great job wrapping everything together with a bunch of different types of bunch of different wrapping paper so awesome job with the packaging but in total we have one two 
three, four, five, and six packages in this box. Wow, that's a lot of me gifts, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let's start off with the smaller stuff. So we have one, two, I'm gonna put the smaller stuff on this side, and the bigger stuff over here. Okay, so starting off with this, I, get, I was right with one thing, I'm pretty sure these are chips, and I'm hoping for Hot Cheeto Puffs. Let's see. Yeah, she got the hot Cheeto puffs. She got the good stuff right here. So let's go ahead and, and dip into this. Mmm, that's some good shit. All right, next bag. Some more hot Cheeto puffs. Awesome. All right, I already opened one, so that's all we need to open for now. I'll save that for later. All right, next package. This one feels like manga. I kind of want to save that for the end. This feels like some more snacks, so I'm liking the snacks so far. Let's see what else she got. Maybe one of her favorite snacks? All right, hot fries. So I did put in there that I like hot fries as well. I did mean the hot Cheeto fries, but I never actually had these, so I'll try them out. You know what? I already opened one, I'm not gonna open up two because if I'm not gonna eat them, then they're gonna get stale and nobody likes stale fries. So I'll open that later. I'll let you know on Instagram if I like it or not. All right, next one, some more snacks. Ooh, yes, I forgot. I also said Reese's on the survey, which these are my favorite chocolates. I love Reese's and I don't have any right now because, um, well, my wife kind of told me to stop getting so much chocolate. But I won't show her these. She doesn't watch my videos anyway, so she won't know about these. All right, and then over here, this feels like a shirt. So this is a shirt, manga. Which one should we go for first? Let's go for the shirt. I said I'd save the manga for last. All right, and is it Hunter Hunter themed? Yes, it is. And my favorite, one of my favorite characters, Hisoka. Yes. Oh, it is an extra large. Did I put extra large? Maybe she saw that I was gaining weight because my wife also got me extra large. <laughs> but yeah, I love this shirt. Oh, I didn't see that. It's custom. It says elite collector. Look at that. Oh wow, I love this even more now. I'm gonna wear this for every video. Whenever I come in front of the camera, this is the shirt that I'll be wearing. Oh my God. Thanks, Book Vibes, you're awesome. Why didn't I think of doing a custom shirt? I have a Hisoka figure coming soon, so I'm gonna wear this. I can't wait to wear this for that video. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Book Vibes. I love this shirt. All right, let's put this right. I kind of want to show it off. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's put it right here. Can you guys see it there? Does it look good there? All right, there, I think it looks much better there. Now let's get into the manga. So I've been right on everything so far. Uh, she got me the snacks, she got me the shirt. What could it be for manga? Did she give me everything that I put on the survey? She gave me Triad X volume four. Oh my God, I need, I need to check it out. All right, so far I see no Triad X. So, <gasps> she did it guys. She got the Books Kino Kunia volume 34 of Attack on Titan. She must have seen the video where I pulled or where I got my Attack on Titan volume 34 uh barnes and noble exclusive which really isn't much of an exclusive at all this is the, the this is the same cover that's used on every volume 34 they just gave you an exclusive poster but this guy right here is an exclusive cover art 
So thank you so much for this two book vibes. You're, you really are awesome. Now I'm just missing the uh, books a million version, which I will get someday. Maybe now since you got me this, I almost bought this the other day for like 40 bucks, but I decided, no, 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 I'm gonna wait. Maybe book vibes will get it for me. I didn't really think that, but you did, so you're awesome. Um, so yeah, I just need the books a million volume 34 now. Uh, thank you so much. And then this one right here is, let me open this, okay. By ripping it. Uh, Radiant Volume One. Uh, I do have this on order on Right Stuff, but I can cancel it now because I believe it's still out of stock and I will keep your copy. So thank you so much. I was missing Volume One, so I can go ahead and get started on this series now. Um, yeah, I probably said this a bunch already, but Thank you so much, book guides. Um, I think I'll end the video now. It's gone on for quite a bit. Uh, but if you guys haven't checked out any of the other manga tubers opening their secret Santa packages, if I can, if they put up videos, I'll put a link to their videos down below. Otherwise, I'll link to their channels. Go check them out. Go check out everyone's videos so you guys can see their awesome reactions, just like mine for all of the stuff that I got. Um, I loved everything that she got me. I love the snacks, I love the manga. And I super love this shirt. This was probably my favorite because I will be using this one the most. I will probably, like I mentioned, I will try to wear this in every video that I come in front of the camera for. But all right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's if you're watching this during the holiday time. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm-hmm.